Assalamu alaikum. Wish you all a very good morning. Hope you all are fine and safe and sound at home. Now, without wasting time, let's get started. In our daily modern lives, we often have to encounter some general problems which includes to decay, fatigue, muscle, eating, insect, string, muscles, restoration, dealing, soil profile, understandings, and many more. These are the problems which belong to the different categories, but for a detailed systematic case study, could we bring this all together to the single pitch form? Mm, yes, under a term known as pH. We already know, but for concept build up, let's have a quick review. In our daily food intake, some foods are acidic and some are basic. Besides food, other substances have this characteristic too. Means we can classify substances as acidic or basic, but some are neutral, neither acidic nor basic. And this pH, which is my today topic, measures this property of a substance. pH, here P stands for power or potential and H for hydrogen. Has potential of a substance to attract hydrogen ions. Acid is a substance that yields hydronium ions when dissolved in water or any substance which has pH value less than 7. But base is a substance that yields hydroxide ions when dissolved in water or any substance that's pH value is greater than 7. pH that shows acidity or basicity of a substance is based on a scale which assigns number ranges from 0 to 14. Low pH equals acids, high pH equals bases. Close to the end of the scale is stronger the solution. And the most important pH scale is to get 3. Mean each value is 10 times less than or greater than the next value. For example, pH value 4 is 10 times more acidic than pH value 5 and 100 times more acidic than 6. Some property holds for values higher than 7 till 14. So, we have to be very careful while measurements cause a mistake of one unit is 10 times multiplied. But how to measure pH in real life? By indicators, which are chemical dyes that change color depending upon the solution they are in, like phenolphthalein, bromthymol, methyl orange, and so on. And there is also an alternate method by using pH test papers which also turn a specific color then that color is correlated with pH chart to assign its pH value. We learned some ways to test pH but should we really care about it? Or is it important to us? Well, it is studied extensively as its wide application to process industries and mainly human body control. Plus all biochemists and Medical psychologists have recognized pH as primary aspect of a healthy body and environment. Now, common gel issues are acid drain, easy insect sting, daily dosages, and soil profile. Rain water never means that it rains something acidic. Rain is the most pure form of water, but we live in an environment containing refineries and many other factories that has come up in the vicinity and surrounded pollution around us. Rain water, when interacts with this type of atmosphere, its pH value becomes less than 5.6. Then this condition of rain is thought to be acidic. Acid rain is highly damaging in nature and it is experimentally found that most of the rainfall of the first 10 to 15 minutes is acidic in nature. Waste can cause damage to the architecture, marble, crops, and many things that come up in the way. Once the food is taken in and pushed through food pipe, there are still some particles of the food remaining in the mouth cavity. The bacteria present in the mouth breaks down food particles and while doing so, it produces acids which usually damage the teeth in enamel. When pH becomes lower than 5.5, enamel gets corroded, saliva which is slightly alkaline produced in the mouth neutralizes some acid but excess acid remains unaffected and triggers the teeth decay. The human teeth are made up of a material that is the hardest in nature and is not corroded by any substance. But when the seeds are exposed to the acids generated by the bacteria, they are prone to decay. In order to neutralize the effect of mouth cavity, the toothpaste buildup is found to be basic in nature. 
Many animals and plants protect themselves from enemies by injecting painful and irritating acids or bases into the whole skin. When honey bees stings a person, it injects an acidic liquid into the skin. Rubbing with mild, base like baking soda solution on a sting area of the skin gives relief. When a wasp stings, it injects an alkaline liquid into the skin. When upon rubbing with a mild acid like vinegar on a sting area of the skin gives relief. Summing up that bee sting is of pH value 3, but a wasp is quite higher than value 9. But too much or too less quantity is unfavorable and require different dealings or interpretation of the situations to control pH amount. What's happening in this video? Again, pH value either too high or too low is unsuitable to the soil for a protective growth. The pH value is probably the most important single property of the moisture associated with the soil. Since the indication reveals what crops will grow readily in the soil and what adjustments must be made to the adapt it for growing any other crops. Most of the plants grow when the pH of the soil is close to 7. If the soil is too acidic or basic, the plants grow badly or do not grow at all. Acidic soils are often considered infertile. Acidic, acidic soil can be sweetened or neutralized by treating it with chemical fertilizers to adjust its pH for suitable growth or by oxidation of sulfur compounds in salt marshes and drained for as farmland and by other causes. Points to remember Our body is alkaline by design and acidic by function. Maintaining proper alkalinity is essential for life, health, and vitality. So, basically, an imbalance of acidity or alkalinity creates a condition favorable to the growth of bacteria, yeast, and other unwanted organisms. Strive for progress, not perfection. Yesterday is not ours to recover, but tomorrow is ours to win or lose. Stay home, stay safe, skill up and be protective.